We have two more questions for the panel, and they're going to just do a quick round robin of their experiences. First question is uh, the foray into consumer electronics by some of the companies in the mid 1970s. There was a push into calculator chips, watches, LED displays, which David worked on in electronics, video games, point of sale terminals. Was there any winner in that, or? Uh, was it just a total losing proposition? Bernie, can you start off? Well, to the best of my knowledge, the most successful company in the business uh, was TI, building calculators, small, low-end consumer calculators. But the rest of the industry went hog wild in an industry they didn't understand. Watches was a great example. It was a jewelry product. They knew nothing about jewelry. They, all they knew is they were making these chips that would control it. The chip was the cheapest part of the watch and they got killed in the market. Uh, TI stayed in it with a low-end watch at a very low price. The ones who went to the high-end par part of the market absolutely got slaughtered. Uh, there's funny guys in the business. Uh, one of the funniest ones was Nest Time. Nest Time used to show up. And one of the problems you had with non-LED watches, the problem with LEDs, they had very short battery life, but the non-LEDs, the LCD watches, had leakage on the glass to metal seal. They only lasted so long and then you couldn't read them, they were black. And the other thing, you couldn't read them at night, which you can't read most watches at night, but the semiconductor industry thought you needed lights in these. And we showed up at one meeting of the Watch Association, and Nest Time showed up with theirs, and they called it the Nest Light. You press a button, it lit up the room. And people were amazed <laughs> how he could do that. Turns out, the CEO had a backpack of batteries packed to his back <laughs> with wires running down the wrist when he was discovered. That was the end of this time. <laughs> Thank you. David, can you comment on what electronics was up to in LED displays in early 1970s when you joined? When did you join? 72? Seven, yeah, 72. Wow, um, and uh, initially, the uh, obviously, the areas were replacing Nixie tubes and things with fairly big LED displays until the calculator business came along. And the calculator business in the early days w was a gold mine for the people making LEDs. Um, Lytronics was growing twice the speed of uh, Intel and making four times the margin of Intel selling those LEDs to the calculator manufacturers. Particularly as most of them were overseas, you insisted on a letter of credit and so you got cash on the nail head. Um, very exciting time, but it, it, the valley was full of cowboys. The, the story I remember best was Jack Tremiel was running Commodore. Uh, Jack had five vendors of LED displays for his calculators, and he wouldn't pay the bill until he'd gone through all five of them. Uh, like and the it, and your turn came up. It really was the Wild West. And so when it came to our turn to deliver uh, a set of digits for his that month's production, we insisted on a cashier's check. So uh, Chuck Staus turned up there, uh, left the LEDs, took the cashier's check, uh, raced down to the Bank of America, but Tramiel was ahead of him. He called the bank and said, hey, this kid just came in and stole this check off my desk. Don't honor it. 